Here's a quick video on how to time an SR20. Um, this works for any SR20, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, VE, DET, DE. Um, they're all, you know, 86 by 86 and, you know, the deck heights and all that is the same. So, um, now the first thing you gotta do um, is put this thing at top dead center. And this is for people that have done like a head gasket and they don't know where all the colored links are or they just, you know, took their engine apart and they're putting it back together and they still got the front cover on and the oil pan on. Because to locate the links and put one, the silver link on the bottom, you got to remove the cover, take off the oil pan. You know, it's a pain in the butt. Not bad for people that are rebuilding their engine, but somebody who's just doing a, you know, a head gasket upgrade or something, and they got their head off and the engine's still in the car, this is really good information. So, like I said, what you do is you start this at a uh, top dead center. I have an ATI damper and a Mazworks pointer for the VE conversion. Um, it It's... From what I hear, it's very accurate, so uh, I'm gonna go with that. Um, now, you wanna make sure the dowel pin on the exhaust cam is straight up 12 o'clock, pointing towards the sky. And then between, there's a dot on the cam gear, you see right there, etched into the cam gear. And there's another one right there. So, with that being said, you want there to be 20 of these pins between each dot. So between this dot and this dot, I got 20 pins. And I'm not gonna count them for you because I know it, I've already checked it. But uh, so you set your baseline at top dead center. You put this cam, make sure this dowel is facing straight up. So you got your baseline for your crank, your baseline for this, and your baseline for the intake cam is 20 pins away. And it works perfect and anybody I've been disagreed with, and some people call me crazy, and they say it's wrong, but the proof is in the pudding. Here's a tool from Mazworks. They let me have, because they're so nice. It fits right on there, and it tells you exactly what the deal is. Bam. Bam. I just wanted to check my method from back in the day. This is something I figured out on my own, and it's always worked for me on everybody's car. And, you know, like I said, if the engine's in the car, um, this is, makes things very easy to getting it back running and another thing that gives it away for me is the cam lobes are flat get this out of the way they're pretty much flat and that's how you know it's at top dead center on the exhaust stroke um, run it, turn it over twice make sh and double check your work and you know I've had it move on me before because I had the slack in the wrong spot so you might have to do it once or twice but that's how you do it and that's what's going to make it work.